Hi everyone. It is that time of season where everybody's canning and I'm going to show you how I'm going to can up all these peppers. There's one, two, three, four different styles of peppers here. I'm assuming this is a bell pepper. It's pretty big. <laughs> and I do not know what this is, but I know it's spicy and I can't handle this heat. It might be mild to other people, but whoo wee <laughs> it's spicy to me. I thought, Lord have mercy. Honey, you're going to have to call the ambulance or something because I it is setting me on fire. <laughs> I know. I was over-exaggerating. But, Lord, that thing had me crying. I got one of those seeds cut down in my throat. And I thought it was going to burn me alive from the inside. So I don't know what kind of pepper that is. I know it's not my pepper. So it's going to my future son-in-law. He will love those because he loves spicy things. So I'm going to make him some cowboy candy out of these peppers here. Now my mama, mama likes these, whatever they're called. You all might know what they're called. They start with a P. Pe pepper, pep. Anyway, you all probably know what they are. I will slice these up and actually I'm going to candy those also. I know it sounds a little ridiculous, but I think it would be good that way. And these milder peppers, I'm going to dice these up fine. I've seen uh, Miss Lori on Whipple Will Holler do this, and she pressure canned those peppers just in salt water, and she put them in little jars, and that's what I'm going to do with those. I'm going to I don't have any little jars, but I'm going to put them in half pint jars and that way I have it for soups or for eggs or whatever I want to do later and not have them pickled or have heat in it like some of this stuff. I am going to do something a little different than the other recipes call. I'm going to slice up some onion also with this cowboy candy, candy and put this in there with the cowboy candy. It doesn't call for that, but I think it would be delicious. My cat, Stella has just, she's still mischievous, I tell you. But let's get this started. Oh, and later I bought me a bunch of peaches and it's not going to make a whole lot, but I'm going to make some peach butter with it. And my pear tree is about ready for a bunch of pear preserves. I think my father will love that. And my family too. They'll like that on ice cream or on a biscuit or whatever they want it for. But I think it'll be good. The peach, peach butter, I may not share though. Listen family, if you're watching this. Granny may not share her peach butter with you. We'll have to see about that. <laughs> Let's get this started. First thing is to wash your peppers. And I washed all my peppers with some vinegar water. And it was about a half a cup of white vinegar to maybe a gallon of water and of warm water. And I put all through in my sink and I washed them well so that I can Get ready to can and dice these things up. These were all gifted to us, and except for a few of the jalapenos, those came from Mama's garden, but the rest was gifted to us from a fella that my husband works with, which I am so thankful because mine. Look, look, people, this is my pepper. <laughs> they, they are puny, and they're even smaller than this and turning. So my peppers are not doing well at all. Look at this beautiful pepper. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so thank you to that gentleman or that fella <laughs> that gave my husband all these peppers. I appreciate this. After I've washed my peppers, I made sure that my equipment is ready before I start dicing things up. <laughs> I put my jars in here on a 
a metal disc that goes underneath your jar and on the bottom of the pot. This is just my stock pot. My canner is in the loft where I can't get to it right now. But for now, this, this will work fine because I can get the water a couple inches above my jars. If you have any pot and you don't have that metal disc that goes in the bottom, my grandmother used to take dish towels and stick them in the bottom of the pot. They didn't have all these fancy gadgets back then. And she would take rags and stick it between the jars to keep the jars from popping against each other and busting. And sh you bring this up to a full boil. It's almost there now. Yeah, it's not a full boil yet, but it's getting there. She would sanitize her jars. You leave them in there for 10 minutes. I put a couple tablespoons of vine white vinegar into this water because I have hard water where we live. And that will help keep the calcium buildup off your jars. That white powdery stuff that you'll get on your jar sometimes is from hard water. And the vinegar will help alleviate that. Get it coming up, 10 minutes. And people, you don't have to have a special canner. If any stock pot that you have or pot that has a lid on it where you can get the water two inches above your jar after you got the lid and the ring on, you are fine. You can water bath with that pot. Don't have to be something special. If you just want to practice and just have, you know, one of these little jars and you want to try it, and if you have a pot that's bigger than that, try it. Can you up some jelly or jam or, you know, some fruit preserves or something? There's a lot of videos out there about that. I even, I even have a few. You don't have to use pectin in some of it. Apples have their own pectin. Blueberries are full of their own pectin. You don't have to add it to it. It just takes a little longer to get it thicker. If you have pectin, it helps thicken it up a little better. But if you don't and it's a little runny, hey, you got blueberry syrup, <laughs> which is really good on pancakes. Anyway, enough blabbering. So I have all those hot peppers sliced, <coughs> sliced up and I'm going to start out with this recipe and it is two cups of apple cider vinegar and two cups and I can't in a pint jar is right to the one inch headspace. That's two cups of apple cider vinegar six cups of sugar, half a teaspoon of celery seed, half a teaspoon of ground turmeric, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, so this is a half teaspoon, and garlic powder. If you had granule, garlic granules, it said um, three teaspoons, but garlic powder, it says just one and a half teaspoons, and that's what I got is garlic powder. So, putting one and a half of that. You bring this up to a boil and let it dissolve. Let this get all dissolved. It's actually, it smells delicious. A little spicy. It smells good. I forgot to add the onion, so I just did. Let's see how this goes. It's been four minutes. 
I have a slotted spoon or a spoon with a bunch of holes in it. Mm. But there's my candy with the onions in it. I think it'll be good that way. Put your, ooh, it's hot dark. Mm. Add that to your jars. I don't know how many jars I'll get out of this. But leave I'm going to leave an inch headspace. Do not waste that brine. Just put it in a jar and can it too. That'd be good for barbecues. Put it a little bit of juice and some dressings. Whatever you want. But don't waste it. Debubble. And I wipe the rims off really well with some vinegar because it is super sticky. You put your lids on. Finger tight. jars go back in the canner I got my six jars back in the canner put the lid on that bring it back up to a boil it's getting hot in this tiny home <laughs> but I still have more brine here that I'm going to can and process I just have to do up some I'm going to do some pint-sized jars, and then I'll bring that up to a boil and put them in it. But we're going to let this come to a boil and process for 10 minutes. I will pull that out, set them aside on a, the counter, and I will let them sit there for 24 hours before I bother them. That, my friends, is how I made cowboy candy, and I added um, a sweet onion to it, too. I think that my son-in-law, or future son-in-law, will like this. And I think he'll like this for his birthday. It's coming up soon. But you're supposed to wait two weeks up to 30 days before you open a jar of this and eat it. I know a lot of people can't wait that long. But thank goodness his birthday is over a week away, almost two weeks. So, because I know he'll tap into these as soon as he gets it. So, until next time, God bless you all. I'll see you again.